one chancellor of Germany was famously quoted as saying, if somebody has a vision, they should go see a doctor. Well, I see his point, but I think as we are building products, visions are in fact something really important. What's the idea of a vision? A vision should be a compact, succinct description of what you're trying to do, who you're doing it for, what value they will derive from. And it's so um, surprising to me to see how many people are actually not able to articulate their teams, their companies, their products' vision. I do this sometimes in my trainings as an exercise, but I ask people, okay, please describe to me your product vision. And then usually I'm met with blank faces and some people say, oh yeah, I, I think there's, there's a presentation over there somewhere that probably says the vision. And it's, it's often a very sort of bland slogan. <sighs> That's not helpful. So you might be asking, okay, what's a vision for in the first place? The idea behind a vision is to, you know, as boring as that, as that expression is, to serve as a North Star. You know, as you are designing a product, you know, and you've got a bunch of user stories in which you capture the requirements, they hopefully all point up to something like an epic or however you call it, you know, some, some broader scope of perspective, of description. And perhaps there's even one more, you know, depending on, on the nature of your product. But all of them, all of the different epics and user stories, etc., 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 they should all point to a vision. They should all be able to explain, well, I exist because I bring our customers, because I bring our product closer to this guiding idea. And they are so important that I like to actually write down the vision as we do, I don't know, sprint planning or as we do a retrospective, just to remind ourselves what it is that we're trying to do. And you don't need to make a big deal out of this. You don't need to like recite it in front of everybody, but you know, just have it there in the corner. And if you're in doubt about, well, what am I doing here? Maybe you can just sort of look over and say, oh, that's why. This is the goal. Am I confident that we're moving in the direction of this goal? Because if not, then I should probably stop this conversation and, you know, and say, well, are we going in the right direction here? And if you're wondering what should a good vision look like, the one that I like to use as an example is um, the famous moon landing speech by President Kennedy, where he said, before the decade is out, we're going to send a man on the moon and we're going to bring him safely back to Earth. That, <laughs> that's all it was, isn't it? And he said a couple more sentences. Yes, yes. But I think this, this captures it quite nicely. It had a time frame. It had a scope. It had a couple of very important design criteria. And everything else you know, was going to be figured out along the way. Well, how do we get this person to the moon? Do we stick them in a, in a big cannon and just shoot them up there or something? Then some, somebody said, yeah, okay, that gets us to the first half of this requirement, but how can we safely get them back? The point is, whatever people did for the next decade, they could point back to this and say, okay, does this somehow help us to get somebody from the Earth to the moon and safely back before, of course, the decade is out, right? Before the calendar runs out. So this is the power of a good product vision. And I say everybody should have one. If you're not certain what it is, ask. And if nobody can tell you, you should really go and find one.